Hi everyone, so this is lesson four. It's all about disguise quadratics. This, this is like the 2023 plus pack, because um, the 2022 pack has slightly different questions. So let's have a look at it then. So it's a disguise quadratic. So if you look, that 5 to the 2x can be written as 5 to the x of the square. And I've got something times x squared, or something, uh, sorry, x, something squared, well, plus a value of something, and then a value. So I've actually got some form of disguise quadratic, where from the previous pack, where I used to write down something, that's going to be 5 to the x. So I'm going to put in here, poly, I'm going to put uh, 1, minus 4, minus 21. And if you do that, you get y is minus, but don't mind. There's me copying off the completed pack. Uh, if you put it into poly, you get minus 3, and you get 7. But you have to remember that's for 5 to the power of x. Because that was my something, my something was 5 to the power of x. Now, this one, I can solve. So if I do log to base 5, I've got x is log to base 5 of 7, and that's fine. Or the other way to do it is to take logs of both sides, and you can have like x log 5 is equal to log 7, so x is log 7, or ln, over log 5, and log on its own is base 10, so this one I've done to base 5. This one, though, 5 to the x equals minus 3. The e to the x graph, or 5 to the x graph, goes like that. So this has got no solution, as 5 to the power of x is always greater than 0. Now, what, what the pack does, the pack uses y, and they did this before. So instead of having 5 to the x is equal to minus 3, they have y is equal to minus 3. So they've got less than this bit in here. So I would just, with... This bit here, that's not there. Let's move that out of the way. I would just see that as using poly for 1, minus 5, and 6. And it would give me 2 and 3 out, so that would be 2 to the x. Take log to base 2 of both sides. Well, we get x is log to base 2 of 3, and then x is 1, because 2 to the power 1 is 2 to the power x. That's where I get both those solutions from. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So this one's a little bit more tricky. Um, so I can see this part, so the 5 to the 2x plus 2. That's 5 to the 2x times by 5 squared. So that's 25 times by 5 to the x of squared. I hope you can kind of see that. The uh, 5 to the x plus 1 is 5 to the x times by 5, which is 5 times by 5 to the x. So my equation becomes 25 lots of 5 to the x all squared, so that's that bit, minus 10 lots of 5, so minus 50 lots of 5 to the x plus 9 is equal to 0. So you can put y equals 5 to the x. I'm just going to go straight with poly with a 25 and minus 50 and 9. Uh, make sure that's right. Yep, yep, yep. So that gives me values out of a fifth and 9 over 5 in the calculator. So you've got to remember that's 5 to the power x. That's 5 to the power x. So the fifth is the same as 5 to the power minus 1. So that would imply that x is minus 1, so that's all right. Well, the other one, I have to do log to base 5 of it. So I'd have log to base 5 of 9 over 5. There we go. And that'll do. That's fine with that one. So let's see what this one's done. See if this one's done similar. So remember, they use y, whereas I wouldn't bother using the y. I just do poly straight away with 9, minus 9, and 2. Um, you can kind of see what they've got. Right, so look at C. 
So we've just got so we've got C and D to do here. So well that looks even easy, doesn't it? Because that's just like a two e to the x squared minus seven e to the x plus three zero. So if you put it into poly, two minus seven three, you get out a half of three. So I've got e to the x is a half, e to the x is a half. So x is ln of a half, x is ln of a three. That's actually easier than the ones before, isn't it? So one there, which should hopefully be okay. So remember, I don't bother with this. I just go straight for poly of a three, a ten, and a three. Seeing that's three lots of e to the x all squared. Right, so look at this one. So this one I do a little bit of rearranging with. Ooh, 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 that. There we go. Um, so it's e to the x plus five over e to the x is six. So if I multiply three by e to the x, I get my e to the x squared with a plus five is equal to six e to the x. So I've got my e to the x all squared minus six lots of e to the x plus five is equal to zero. In the poly, I'm going to use one minus six and five. And I'm going to push up a bit. If it works, the board's a bit long. The board's not working properly. There we go. So I'll put that into my calculator. The one minus six and five. It gives me out one, and it gives me out five. So that's e to the x, e to the x. So x is log of one, which is zero because the log graph goes like that. So log of one is zero. There's one that there, didn't I? I kind of wanted that log graph somewhere else. Sorry. Sorry if you join. <laughs> you will have done that as well. Sorry. Yeah, log of one is zero. And then I've got x. Is it LN5? There we go. One for you to do. So there's my thing, there's my formula. So I did do poly, oh, I'm going to sneeze, 1 minus 7, 3. This one gives you a serve notation. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> That's a bit sneaky, look, because I just left it as a single solution. So we'll go with that. Ditch that as well, don't we? There. So I hope that's okay. Uh, the next bit should be already there, so that's fine. Right, I'm going to go. Bye-bye. <laughs>